What is up mates? In this video I am going to show you how you can create and paint seat belts for your scale model. Also I am going to share why this is a better option than the photo edge seat belts in my opinion. First I made a tool to make the buckles. I used a bank card as it has quite a sturdy plastic. The thickness is about 0.8 mm. The larger step is 1.5 mm high and the smaller is 1.1 mm. For the buckles I used copper wire and the thinner it is the better. The idea is to make a tight coil around the tool. Using a curved scalpel blade I cut through each row. This allows me to have individual pieces which will be the buckles themselves. On a hard surface I flatten each piece I put the details on a piece of tape for easier handling. And then I glue the straight pieces of wire in the middle of each section. Those details are for the chest belts. I will do them first. I cut off the excess material. Using the bending tool as a guide I cut out a strip of masking tape. That will be the belt. It can be as long as you need it. You can always trim it later. I fold them together to have a sturdier guide. And also I taper it a bit so it's easier to put it through the buckle. The goal is to thread the belt through the buckle so that it's hanging on the center beam. The sticky side of the tape should be facing the inside so you can fold the tape and stick it together. This will form the lower part of the belt. When folding the tape together I leave the back side at about 8mm length to leave space for the lower buckle. For the lower buckle I bend a piece of wire at 90 degrees and I place it on the sticky side and fold the tape over to hold the buckle in place. The upper portion of the belt has to be threaded through the buckle and folded around the upper section. You can leave this as long as you want, it just has to reach the back of the seat so you can glue it. For the lap belts I used the wider step in the tool. I made some buckles with that step but without the center beam. Here it is much simpler as we just have to thread the belt through the buckle and then fold it together. Of course you can bend yourself much more complicated buckles. I cut a strip of tape a bit wider than the lap belt and folded it together to form the pad that sits underneath the buckles. Then I super glued it to the belt. For easier painting I attach the belts on a pop stick. That is what I used for the painting. The choice is yours of course. I started by airbrushing some drap on both sides of the belts. Then I painted the buckles in black. I added some black to the drop color and applied thin lines to simulate seams. To give the dashed line appearance I used the base color.
for the buckles I used steel collar from Citadel. To do the highlights, I added some white to the base color. Highlights should be applied also after the installation of the seat belts on the seat. For the pads I used brown color. All the colors I used are too shiny, so I applied matte varnish. In my opinion, the DIY seat belts are better than the photo edge seat belts because they accept the form of the seat much easier and are generally easier to shape. Also, super glue works very well with them unlike with the photo edge details. If you like this video, go ahead and watch more of my tutorials. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy modeling!